in this society a lot of people not a lot of people but there is people out there that they don't have talent you know what i'm saying they don't have talent some people it's a mix of hard work with talent some people it's just talent and hard work and i feel that the perfect example of having no talent but having hard work is my boy rock lee Broccoli, the reason why I love him so much is that, like I said, I think that he is the perfect example of hard work. Broccoli, if you didn't know about his backstory, he was born without the ability of using chakra. That ability is a key factor to become an elite shinobi. So, growing up, basically, um, what he had to do is that, you know, he had, you know, he had to face the truth. He had to face the truth that he will never, he might never be the greatest shinobi ever. Brock Lee only uses taijutsu. That is basically, you know, close combat. So in this video, we're going to talk about Rock Lee and we're going to use him and as an example of, you know, um, the truth about talent. Rock Lee in his early years, what I love about him is that he literally had this mindset of like, nobody is coming to save me. And it is true in life, no, as a man, as a man, I think as a man, as a young teenager, as a boy, nobody is coming to save you. And it's a key factor of life. You need to understand that, that as a man, nobody is coming to save, save you. Only females actually get saved. And you can you can say, you know, oh, well, you're sexist, how, however you want. It's true. Listen, Rock Lee grew up alone. He grew, he got bullied at school because he couldn't even use it in it. But like one jutsu, like bro, he understood real quick that bro, he is going, he's, he is going to go through that journey by himself. And that's the thing. Sometimes when you don't have talent and you see the guys that have um, tremendous talent, like let's say Sasuke Uchiha. You know, this guy has probably, you know, at his school, you know, he had the most talent. Sasuke Uchiha had the most talent around his peers. But all this to say that, you know, usually when you see a guy that has a lot of talent and you're really not talented at this type of thing, you're not motivated. You're not motivated and you don't push your limits. You don't even try to out outwork the guy that has talent. Because, and you know this favorite famous quote, Hard work beats talent every time. So that's what I'm saying. Brock Lee understood that if he puts out the work, he'll be a monster, bro. He didn't give up. He wanted to give up. Let's not, let's not get it wrong. He wanted to give up. But with the mentorship of uh, my boy Guy, you know what I'm saying? The boy became a beast. You know, one of the key things that Rock Lee had to learn early in his life is that if you want something in life, you will need to work for it. You know, eventually, you know, it's easy to say to actually do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people don't, you know, a lot of you guys don't really understand that, bro. People aren't going to hand over something that you want easily like this, bro. Specifically, big goals. And being a shinobi was a big goal for him. You know what I'm saying? He had to work hard for it. So a lot of you guys are really ambitious in life. You know, you have a lot of goals. You have a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, just goals in general. But you, why? But you want to know why the majority of you guys after high school don't actually make your goals a reality? It's because you don't even try, try, or even if you try, people put you down and you don't get up. You know. And the truth is that sincerely, if you don't have talent. It's a shame. <laughs> it, it, it's going to sound a lot black people, but if you don't have talent, it's a shame. You know what I'm saying? And hey, God God has their favorites. God has his favorites, my bad. That's what I mean. God has his favorites. Meaning that, you know what I'm saying? 
you can't be good at it, at everything. And it, it might it might suck that you know this guy is you know naturally talented, but hey, what you want me to say, like bro, you're not you're, you're not that guy. Not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. I'm kidding. Obviously, you might be that guy, but what I mean is that. If you want to be that guy, you will need to put out the work. You will need to outwork the people that works harder than you. Talent is nothing. Talent is nothing if you don't put the work. And that's what a lot of you guys don't understand. Specifically in sports, I feel that a lot of people get discouraged when they have goals of being a professional basketball player or professional football player or whatever. A, prof a professional, you know, in, you know, in sports. A lot of athletes get discouraged because... I'm not gonna lie. Usually the best, you know, the guy that's the most talented is the guy that's going to make it really far in life. Obviously, if he puts out the work, let's not get it wrong. I feel that the people that don't have talent or have a low, they, or the people that are less talented than other guys are usually the ones that when they put out the work and they really are disciplined, they end up being the best. And another thing about not having talent is that if you want to be better than your peers, you need to be disciplined. One of the key factors that Rock Lee had was discipline. His main mission was to be a shinobi, or mostly was to be Neji. You know what I'm saying? Neji was born in this Hyuga clan, right? This magical clan that was so powerful. And he was so disciplined, like, bro, I think Gar, I think he fought against Gar and like he was injured like for like months or some shit. But yeah, he got, he got injured by Gar and supposedly he was about to stop his, you know, his um, Shinobi journey. Like he was not about to be Shinobi ever again. And um, the discipline that he had is crazy. He was still doing push-ups with one hand. All this to say that talent does not matter if you don't pull out the work. And I feel that Rock Lee is the perfect example of it. Like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Um, you know, uh, we have a lot of subscribers right now. We don't have a lot, a lot of subscribers, but we're, we're at like 217 right now. So if you like, share, and subscribe, it's, you know, you know, the support is going to be just crazy. See you guys in the next video. Something, but that you're up to something scandalous. Taste my bitter heart, no, it makes you blush. But something is right, this happiness, and they attend to you. Don't listen, you've been giving, you've been spending now.